Hey you all, it's Jeannie from Jeannie of Not of This World. And I, I know it's been a while since I've come on. I've had a lot going on, which I'll let you know a little bit about in just a sec. But I wanna show you something here, our, our weather here. Um, and I'm, I'm basically at the Canadian border, um, heading back into the United States. I made a trip today for the railroad and I'm, I'm coming back to the US, but this is the Can Canada side I'm on. And I want you to look at the cloud figuration in front of me. It is, the sun's trying to come out on this side. We've got the gray, uh, uh, I mean, the, the bulbous clouds, I forget what they're called. And then there's like a gray background to it that's been, you know, terraformed by our climate change, what they're calling it, which is all bullshit. And I'm just gonna show you here real quick. I'm gonna take my phone. And I'm going to um, unplug it here because I've got it charging. Look over here. Isn't it nice and pretty? This is how a sky is supposed to look. Blue with the beautiful fluffy clouds. Isn't it beautiful on this side? Okay, this is how it used to look, you know, with the... The, the blue sky and the big clouds. This is this is the kind of sky I grew up looking at, you know? And it, it's just beautiful. And then we come back over here, and this is what we got. The gray on gray. We got the, the big fluffy clouds with the gray terraformed, um, weather modified, sky okay you got a good look at that and here's the sun it's it's just white um trying to come through the gray that they've uh, weather changed modified because they, they need to hide the sun y'all you know they don't want us seeing the sun but over here they didn't get it it's like they're uh their, their gray terraforming didn't reach over here yet, yet. Let's just say yet, but it's coming. In fact, when I left the house this morning, it was nice and, and bl beautiful blue sky. And now they've got the gray alien world sky with our nice fluffy clouds. But yeah, this is what we got. So this is our alien world here. You know our terraformed sky so just making the just making the you know looking at the difference you know this the the blue sky with the the, the beautiful fluffy clouds it, it reminds me of the Simpsons it's like they had you know <laughs> it's like here's the Simpsons with the beautiful blue sky fluffy clouds the skies we used to have growing up and then boom, alien terraformed skies. All right, I'm gonna put this back here. Anyway, just wanted to show that to you. Just because it, it gets me every time, it makes me so angry that they're, they're doing this to us and destroying our plant life and our, our animals and our, um, you know, our oxygen, um, ability to grow food and all that. So it's going to be interesting what our spring and summer is going to look like. The sun is trying to break through that gray, you guys. It's trying. It's trying. Remember, God is in control. He's ultimately in control no matter what. And I just plead the blood of Yahusha that the, their, their plans, that uh, their plans do not prosper. Um, but I also know that, full, that prophecy must be fulfilled. So the way I pray is I ask for God's will, you know, not my will, but his will. And I just ask for his protection and, and I keep trusting in him and, you know, and then we're on to another day. But in the meantime, um, I had gotten some bad news the other night, uh, about a week ago, uh, a friend of mine, close friend of mine, um, who lives in California, her husband, has stage four brain cancer and so I've been trying to be a support to her um, she's unsaved he is unsaved 
and um, I've sent her some scripture and also uh, the Lord's Prayer. I sent her a video from Jay uh, from Virginia, Vessel of Truth. I'm trying to reach her every which way uh, and her, her husband, um, he's in rehab, he had brain, well he had surgery and uh, they're preparing to, you know, take him home for the days he has left. He's been given weeks to months, um, but it doesn't look good, it's stage 4 brain cancer. So I've been praying for the both of them because our prayers do not come back void to the Father. Once we pray a prayer, they, our words never come back void. So I'm believing um, that the Father will draw them because no one comes to the Father unless he draw you. So unless he draw um, those, you know, which um, that his son will receive, you know, the Father has to draw them, so I'm praying that the Father will draw them and that the scriptures will be received and for the enemy's plans to be thwarted. thwarted. Um, and uh, I'm praying, you know, I'm, I'm not hiding my talent. We are not to hide our talents here. You know, we are to be a lamp to those that uh, are unsaved and you know I've, I've been praying for the Lord to to use me in, in that way because in my past I haven't I haven't you know done what I should do and I know I need to do what I should do and and um, you know do as the Lord instructs because I on judgment day I don't want to stand in front of him and, and he say well what did you do with your talent um, you know, wh why did, you know, what's going on? You could have done better. I don't want to stand there in front of him and say, Lord, I know I, I, I could have done better. I want to do better now because I didn't do better for many, many, many years. Most of my life, I did not do better. I was just a, a stinking sinner, you know, partying uh, and carrying on in, in the world's ways and and even when I, you know, was saved by grace, I still carried on partying in the world's ways and I uh, didn't tell my friends about Jesus. And I'm ashamed of myself for that. I really am. And I, I've repented and, you know, I bring it before the Lord and I say I'm sorry and we got to do better. Because how does he know us? By our works. We have to we have to do what he wants us to do and obey him and walk as Jesus walked. So it's a big thing. It is a big thing. We we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling because that that judgment day will come for us. So I've been in prayer for her. I've had some health issues. Um, you know this job has been stressing me out so bad. Uh, they finally gave me a, a, a decent schedule, but I was under so much stress. My blood pressure went through the roof, and I had to get on blood pressure medicine, and then my thyroid um, was, in, was, you know, underactive. So that's a whole other thing. I'm trying to get used to this thyroid medicine. So I'm, I've been going through some health issues, and and so, and then you know, I have my days where I need to just step back from all the news because it gets so depressing and I uh, you know I I'm just like you I'm like you know I need to take one day at a time and you know try not to stress and just let the Lord handle it because he's the one in control not us anyway so anyway that's what we've got going on another day in paradise into this uh, gray sky here so Keep up in prayer and know that I love you. I'm thinking about all of you. And I'm sorry I haven't, you know, put out a video sooner. Um, it's just been a, a lot of stress for me lately. But I love you and we'll just keep at it. All right. Everybody have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.